Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'll be showing you guys how to increase and be efficient in increasing your troop, EP, and slime, Isekai memories. Uh, I've been playing the game for a few days now. Uh, currently, I am mostly free to play. I did use Google Play Points to purchase the Guaranteed Star Ticket, so I don't know if you go call that pay to win or not, but it, it, it's up to you. Uh, but yeah, I've been basically just grinding the game, and I think I have a good understanding on how you can increase your uh, EP so you can beat... Uh, the higher stages in the game uh, in the story because at first I was struggling and then once I started to learn oh you can do this stuff to increase your uh, battle power I'm like all right uh, let me do that so uh, the first thing the most important thing is going to be obviously level up your characters I mean that's pretty simple right if you have a level one character you want to get them to max level uh, by doing that for example let's take um, who am I level up here Milam level up Milam why not uh, you click level up and then you just use your mana points or whatever you hold this and you level up your characters and they gain stats and level which also increases your EP. Um, yeah, okay. Next thing right here is going to be ability release. Now this is very important. Uh, so you you want to unlock all these, uh, I guess you would call them cubes. Uh, so there's defense, HP, attack, uh, and all that kind of stuff. You want to unlock these uh, and you do need these stones. Uh, these materials. So the way to obtain these materials is you go to quest, you go to training, and then it's gonna be the ability release quest. Uh, I would definitely farm these. Uh, you will need a lot of them, especially you know for the characters uh, you want to unlock on, because they have multiple layers uh, to be unlocked. All right. Uh, there's. I'm currently on stage three. I've already unlocked two of the phases on my characters for example if you take a look at uh, my Shion here my ability release I already have stage 1 and stage 2 complete I'm currently on stage 3 and I need to farm the uh, I guess the kind of like a, uh, the rank 3 stone so yeah I definitely need this uh, to to get my uh, EP even higher which I'm doing another important thing is going to be equipment now I highly, highly recommend you guys get equipment for every single character. It helps immensely uh, in your EP. I mean, it's probably one of the biggest things, right? So to do that, you want to go to Forge. Now, obviously, you can make higher level equipment the higher that your Forge is in your town. Currently, my Forge is being ranked up to uh, rank 3, so I'll be able to build higher efficient uh, gear for my characters. So I just gotta wait, uh, what is it, like four hours until that is finished. But currently, what I can do is uh, I can go in Forge and then Forge Equipment. Now you wanna get equipment for every single character. Uh, you wanna equip them, it gives them stats, right? It gives them attack, it gives them defense, uh, and it gives them HP. So this is very, very important. Also, you wanna enhance your material. Uh, I just built these rank two ones, so what we're gonna do here for the video is I'm gonna enhance them. It takes a lot of materials, you know, to level them up, uh, which I mean, hey, I can't even evolve it. No, I don't have enough material to evolve it. That's fine. Uh, we're also gonna level up this one. Boom, perfect. And of course, I don't have enough material. Uh, fortunately enough though, you can farm the material in the story quests uh, and also in the events, which is great. I'm like I said though, equipment is very, very important, so I highly, highly recommend uh, farming up your equipment. Uh, it definitely does help all your units, especially getting those extra stats, and it will help you out beat the stages, so that is very, very important. Now, another thing right here is going to be dupe levels. Dupe levels also increase your EP, but it is one of the most unnecessary things. I mean, it is necessary if you want to get like higher EP, but... Uh, it's more of a whale thing, so if you do end up pulling dupes, obviously you want to do the ability release and uh, not ability, awaken and uh, feed your dupe into your specific character, and this will increase their level, which also increases their stats, which also increases your EP. I showed you the four ways you can increase your EP. Obviously, the first one is level up. Second one is ability release, which you unlock your cubicle or your cubes, or your characters will get some extra stats. Uh, three is awaken them if you have extra dupes. Four, which is probably one of the most important ones, equipment, and then, yeah, that's, that's, it's, it's pretty simple. <laughs> it is pretty, pretty simple, man. So it is very important, I should say this right now, to level up your characters uh, in your assist role for your units. For example, right here, 
I currently do not have all my assist characters leveled up or support characters leveled up uh, because I've been farming the magicules to get them to level up. Uh, but you definitely, definitely want to do it. Hmm. I think I'm gonna equip. No, I think it's fine leaving, leaving our old man there. Uh, yeah, but what I'm gonna do here is actually gonna level up, and I'll show you guys that. Okay, let's take a look here, right? So my EP currently is 117, 632, right? We take the old man here, we click on him, we level him up, and I currently have a lot of magic heals, so I will get him to max level. Come on. <laughs> I wish it was like a uh, accept all. Boom, there we go. His stats increased. Also, I want Noli. Also, want you guys to mention if you do pull dupes of your SRs, make sure you guys feed them in because it unlocks their level and it obviously gives them more stats, which gives more stats to your front row units. So, we got him to level 60. Our current uh, EP just went up by almost a thousand. Okay, so it is very important to level up your back row units. Uh, yeah, do it. <laughs> do it man also unlocking your uh, back row units your support characters ability releases also increases the stats of your characters which also gives you more EP in the front so currently as you guys can see I went all the way from 117 to 119 by just leveling up my characters I mean it's that simple also unlocking their uh, ability releases which uh, it does help boost up the stats of their of the character which also helps you know give extra stats to your front row characters for example right here we just did it to the old man boom unlock and uh we actually might go to 120 ep right now are we there yet yes we are look you see that i just raised 3k 3k true pp but just leveling up my characters and uh the back row units not even my front row units i'm talking about the front row units, the back row units uh, and we got insane stats right there. So make sure you guys do that is very very important and uh, don't miss out I mean you definitely need the higher EP you, you have the more stats you have and the higher you can progress with the game So yeah, if this video was helpful man, uh, make sure you guys drop a like subscribe and uh, I'll be back with more slimy Sky memories videos, I've been having a lot of fun with this game and uh, It is very very good All right time to get shafted on slime Oh. Let's go. I pulled actually SSR every multi, so I'm hoping the luck continues. Okay. He's flying? He do be flying. Come on! Come on! Oh! Dude, what is my luck? It's just... It you know when the game displays the correct rates and not uh, something that's a lie? That's, I've, that's pulled, I've pulled a 5 star every single multi. Did you pull a double? No. I've pulled two doubles. Oh! Oh, it's the, 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 the old guys, no? No, I don't think so. It is? It's a different one. What? You have I, a different I, old guy? Yeah, I do. That's my second old guy. Can we pull double though? Is that, is that possible? That was very early on in the multi, so... There's a chance. A chance. Gold? I've never seen him before, even in the show. I'll take that, I'll take that, use him. Oh, it's a dupe! What? I s do he had a different tech speech earlier on, and this has to be a, a defender. I think it's a defender. Let me check. I mean, how how much does the defender level matter? I don't even know. I don't know. I have three or two uh, five star defenders. We, got, we just pulled the old guy so we can uh, awaken him. I mean, he, he, he is uh, green. So if you're doing like a mono green with Milim, that's good. I don't have Milim. No, how am I? I have a. Uh, oh, what's her name? Shuna. Shuna, him is mono green. And then. Oh, you're. you're... Did you reroll? 
No. Oh, you should have. Why? I didn't. I know. I didn't want to. I got. She's uh, starting from multiple SSRs. I got Shion. Mm hmm. And then my next multi, I got this defender. And then I pulled him. Then I you pulled got the good defender. defender. Fine. And I pulled him twice. You got you got the good defender, so now you just you just need the Rimuru. Yeah, if I can pull the Rimuru, it's the the main Rimuru, right? Yeah. yeah. Eventually we'll pull him. <laughs> Eventually. Eventually. <laughs>